I uh, hope you're all doing well. So I wanted to make a tutorial today basically on how to get offers on CSGO Lounge. Many people say, including one of my team members, they don't understand or don't receive any offers on CSGO Lounge. So I thought I'd make a tutorial for him and obviously for you guys. Um, so basically we're going to start off straight away here and you're going to want to go to Chrome. All these links will be in the description. The first one will be to Lounge Assistant, as you can see. When you're on the page just click add to chrome and it'll click it'll come up with added to chrome and then make sure it's up here this little gray box here same as here and you're good to go after that you can close that go on the next link to steam inventory helper download that obviously add, add to chrome make sure it pops up up here uh, you can close that and then get the dota 2 slash csgo lounge auto bump once again add to chrome make sure it appears if it doesn't appear, just go on this little free bar up here. This is all for Google Chrome, by the way, just for what I tell you. And then you basically, you go down to, oh, it's somewhere here. More tools, sorry. And then click on extensions and just enable them all from in that list. So now we've got all those, we will look at all the options we get with each one. Boop, 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 boop. Right. So lounge assistance, fairly simple. You change the, you just leave it as it is. Um, you can delete it if you want for a plain background, but I left it because it looks pretty cool. The currency, obviously, change it to your own currency. Most most of you will be on dollars or euros, but I'm from Britain, as you can probably tell. So I'm going to go for pounds. Time format. That doesn't matter at all, but I prefer 24 hours. And when you've when you've changed, if you've changed anything, just click save and it will say saved below it. That will slowly disappear. Now we go to the Steam Inventory Helper and we'll start on the first tab. This tab you will see when you get an offer. It'll play a sound as well when you get an offer. So just make sure you have Google Chrome open in the background when you're playing games, just so you get the sound come through. Bookmarks. And I'm not sure what this does yet, but I haven't found a use for it, so I won't bother with that for now. The settings. Just follow the settings as it says here. Just tick the first two boxes. Leave the quick sell diff to minus 0.01. Delay between listens 200 milliseconds. Untick the two boxes here. Tick that. Well, I'll just scroll down the list slowly so you can copy. Feel free to pause the video if you would like. Okay, so that's what my settings are. I haven't messed around with them too much, so if I was you, I'd just leave them as default if you don't have a clue what you're doing. The market graph. This basically will show um, basically of what you've bought and show your profit and stuff. I, do, I don't do that because I don't feel the need for it, really. FAQs, it just tells you just if you need help with anything, like, how can I create custom take buttons in trade off a page? You check out the video and it will tell you how to do that. And then the about just tells you what it is, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. Now you go on the Dota 2 slash CSGO auto bump for CSGO lounge. Make sure you've got this ticked, display notifications. That will tell you when you get an offer on, on Steam or on CSGO lounge. It will play this noise from the uh, choice. But yeah, I like chime one. Sounds fairly normal. Auto bump, definitely tick that so you it keeps automatically bumping the trades for you. Um, you do get people saying you can get banned for it, but with this one, if you click the link in the description, you will not get banned. I've been using this for about, let's say, about six months, I think it is now, and no problems, perfect. Running background, you want to tick both of these, even if you're not play, using Dota 2 trading or CSGO trading, tick both of those just to make sure it shows every offer in case it glitches out and the delay between posts is zero seconds so it refreshes instantly right so next you're going to want to go to csgo lounge as you can see 
normal. You'll probably see a difference to the background. That's fine. I prefer, I like it like that. Um, so here, if you put your mouse over the, the say a knife, it will tell you how much it's worth there. 269.78 pounds. And then it will show you how much the two items here are. Sometimes if it says not found, that means there's none on the market. Or it means the API is down, which is quite frequent. But it's not really needed. As you can see, look, not found, not found, not found. That's because the API is offline. But normally it's fine. Um, but you just got to go with it, really. <laughs> so we're going to start by adding our trades. So if you just click add trade. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to scroll down and put the weapon on. Well, click the weapon of your choice. So I'm going to go for the Glock grinder and then put any offers. What I tend to do is put one to one, which means you're going to you're going to give one weapon and receive one weapon. And in capitals, put steam offers. Steam offers only, please. So that you get Steam offers instead of looking at the, at the offers on here. I hate looking at offers on CSGO Lounge because half of them are bots saying click this link. If you see any links anywhere referring to CSGO, don't click it. You'll get hacked. Face it. <laughs> so you're going to post that trade. Add another trade. Scroll down. Select the weapon of your choice. Any offers. Paste. Post trade. And then you add another trade, find the weapon you want, any offers, post trade. I don't know why that one didn't show up, let me try that again. There we go, don't know, it does some dodgy things sometimes, you just got to go with it. Now my favourite weapon from my inventory, my inventory is not great but oh well, it's fine. Um, post and it will say you're posting too fast try again in a few seconds so you just have to wait a minute and um, just tick that box and then you can spam it and it won't come up with anything so you can just spam it till it's uh there we go done i'm gonna fill up all six slots so that um well so that i get an offer okay and then I'll put my AK up. Post. Okay, so we have all six slots. And um, be sure to tick these two. So auto bumps and desktop notifier. That means it plays the sound also. And running background and delay zero. So that's pretty much it for that part. There is another way of trading up skins. It's got a bit harder now that the Steam Authenticator app has been introduced. But it's still possible. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, well, basically go, well, just find the weapon that you want to, you want to put up. So mine's £3.92. You're going to want to go on, on the internet browser, Steam Community, or just Steam. Okay. Go on the drop down and click Market. And then just scroll down and on the right you'll see Counter-Strike Global Defensive. Just click that. And it'll display CSGO items. Put the price so it's lowest first. And you're going to want to find a page that will be roughly in the price range. So a bit more above £3.92. Say £4. That sounds like a good, good up. So about £500. Okay, a bit far there. <laughs> now nowhere near. So about £3.50 I'd say. Okay, so we're nearly there. You can manually search through the pages when you're near. Okay, so we're nearly here. So when you're here, you're going to want to pick an item that has... Well, don't pick souvenirs because they're pointless. Waste of time, waste of everything, really. Don't pick souvenirs. And pick one that's got a big quantity. So that means how many has been sold or how many is in stock or something. And just go down till you see something that's got a lot. Like this. A Stat Track 5.7 monkey business. Pretty cool. Pretty cool gun. And what you're going to want to do. 
is just scroll down. Make sure the price isn't dropping drastically, which it isn't. As you can see, 4, 437, blah, blah, blah. So, what you do now is you copy this, go back to CSGO Lounge, and then you go on Search. In the search bar, paste that, and the one that we looked at was Field Tested. As you can see, it will say Field Tested. Field Tested. And then make sure you select any offers here. Search. And you'll see all the one, all the trades that have that item included for any offers. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to push down on your middle mouse button on each one. Make sure you don't um, duplicate any because they'll probably say no. Um, I don't think I did that one. Nope. But yeah, you do that down the whole list until you get to the bottom here. Don't bother going on any more pages. You could do. It's just not not really. Wait, blah, blah. there's no point wasting the time. When you're here, you're gonna want to see if they don't have Steam offer, close it. Like, um, let's see. None of it. Well, they all have Steam offer. Most of the time, they'll have Steam offer. If they don't, just close it because they're not. I mean, they're legit, but. It's a longer process having to put your items here and then sending them, well, them sending you the offer. It's just, but yeah, what you do here is you click that and it'll open up here. Put your item in, which should be, there it is. Put your item in, go to their inventory. And then find the weapon, I think this is it. There it is. Make sure it is a bit above what, what um, yours is, as you can see here. And then send the offer. Boom. I'm not going to do it because I don't want that gun. Just <laughs> simple. But um, you get the point. You just do that. Trade up. Keep going up and up and up and up. You will eventually reach a knife. It is po it is possible. There's so many videos. But yeah. It's pretty simple altogether. I haven't had any trade offers yet. That sucks. But oh well. <laughs> anyway. Thank you very much guys for watching, do hope this helped, please comment below if it did help, please comment below if you didn't understand anything and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, comments are looked at daily, and yeah, I hope to see you in the next one, so please comment, thumbs up and subscribe for more content.